So somebody is in their manifestation energy real heavy, real tough. But the channel message that I got, though, is copycat energy. It's like either you and somebody in your energy, somebody's copycatting someone. Somebody may be copycatting you. You may be copycatting someone. But I'm also hearing catfish just now. Um, so I channeled these earlier. So these are written down. I haven't channeled from the cards yet. <clears throat> but anyway. So there's something about researching. But like surface level researching. Not digging too deeply. But having some kind of knowledge of something, researching something. Or there's an energy of having limited access to a person, place, or thing, or maybe a situation like you only know like bits and pieces, you don't know the full story or the full picture, or you know, this is someone else's energy towards you. I'm picking up that maybe someone who's watching you or who's copycatting you is, um, that they, they can only copycat you to a certain extent because they only see what what you allow them to see. So we have angel numbers or recurring numbers. Each one, reach one, teach one. That feels like um, donating services or the barter system that I'm picking up on that. New sleep patterns, you may be sleeping more, oversleeping. Um, maybe you aren't sleeping as much as you used to, but there's some sort of change in the sleep pattern. The message for that is to adapt it for rest, work, and play. You know, like make it fit. If you find that you sleep more at certain times, then, you know, work your schedule around that as much as possible. Don't try to keep yourself from sleeping. If you're tired, your body is trying to tell you it needs some rest, so rest that body the numbers 333 came up it says to cleanse your energy and call all your power back daily so i'm getting a sense that uh, you're either in the public eye or you just are seen a lot your energy is felt a lot so you have to keep your energy connections clear and clean something about fairies or the fey world um, i heard a message about david and goliath and this was like pertaining to um the giant situations in your life every giant has a stone is what i heard um it says whatever you are facing right now no matter how big or small something that gives you stress or anxiety remember or know this about it rainbows come after the storm gold is at the end of every rainbow and some channel words or phrases are hidden treasure auspicious and remember and know this testimonies are greatest felt by others when they are greatly felt by the self so like sometimes the harder the struggle the bigger the blessing the bigger the miracle um so if someone's pulling on your energy we kind of know this if you've been watching me you've been following me you know you got watchers you got people who pull on your energy either for love or hate it doesn't matter for people pull on your energy secret hate from loved ones and family and ex-friends lovers and connections someone rides past your home to keep an eye on you that's that's i got to keep an eye on you to make sure you're good they really just watching you being nosy just trying to they just want to be able I'm hearing that a lot of people who do this just want to be able to say they know where you stay or oh I seen her the other day you know just so they can have something relevant to talk about um, so reconciliation or past people resurfacing be mindful of names and faces that come up in your dreams and waking reality especially if it happens frequently so if if you know you're in solitude or hermit mode, this is just one scenario. 
but you keep hearing someone's name come up, like you watching something or listening to something, you keep hearing someone's name come up or in your dreams, you're dreaming about people that you don't even associate with. These people are pulling on your energy. They're either talking about you, thinking about you, reminiscing about you, want to get back with you, hating on you, whatever, whatever the, the case may be. Just know those names, those faces that come up, it, it means something. So just tap in and pay attention. Uh, so it says, these are the people pulling on your energy, or at the very least, tapping into your energy. Like maybe watching you, um, keeping up your social media. Like like I said, just, just before riding past your home or the home of someone like in your family or something like that. Um, so a name that comes up could be their first, last, or middle name, or even a nickname. And another, a channel TV show is Fate, The Winx Saga. So you can look that up, see if that uh, show interests you, or if it has any messages in it for you. Let's see if we have some messages, some more messages, because <laughs> that was fully loaded. <laughs> Yeah. I'm hearing something about give someone is coming in to offer you something. I know you've been hearing this message. Someone wants to offer you something, gift you something, invest in you, work with you, collaborate with you, share a life with you, go half on a baby with you, something. Somebody wants to give you something. I'm hearing something for nothing. Something for nothing. Like somebody wants to give you something just because they appreciate you. They don't want anything in return. Ooh, that feels positive. And that could be work or love, business or pleasure. <laughs> I'm hearing something about a heartbreak, getting over it. Um, Aries energy or I'm hearing Taurus Libra Capricorn I'm seeing someone like doing a lot of thinking and scrolling you're just scrolling and thinking thinking and scrolling I hope whatever you're scrolling is productive you know it's, it's okay to have your mama when you just scrolling when you just scroll scrolling scrolling but are you learning something are you or are, is it adding value to your life are you laughing is it something good or are you watching negativity or you know i'm hearing porn or something so i don't know that energy mm, something about that energy that I don't want to tap into. It's like I want to tap into it because I'm nosy, but I don't want to tap into it because it does not feel positive. So this feels, I'm getting a message of someone like having fun with your pictures or videos of you, old videos or something. I'm hearing proud Mary. So yeah, let me get that off the table because we don't we don't want that. You the, you you heard me? You heard what I said? Okay, so that's that's all it. I'm I'm hearing something about a uh, new business offers, new financial offers. Not the. I hear you trying to come out through the phone. Yeah. Protect your energy. Let's see. Let's see if we can get this energy back together. There we go. So. I'm hearing 10, 10. I'm hearing something about an incoming message. Check your email, your mail, P.O. box. I even just heard, if you get mail sent to your family house, go check their mailbox. 
Oh wow. I feel I feel like I'm look, somebody is either going to be a star or is already a star. You're already a celebrity. And there is first of all, there's been some healing going on. There has been some healing from like um love connections that didn't go right and business connections that didn't go right. But I'm seeing all of that being healed, like some newness, new money, new love, new foundations. I'm saying this, this one move flourishing into like, I don't know, abundance on top of abundance is what I'm picking up. Ooh, congratulations. I'm hearing it's coming in hot. Something's coming in hot for you. You're going to have to make sure you stay balanced. Like, you're going to have moments when you revert back to how things used to be. But make sure you, you know, connect with those feelings and keep moving forward. It takes a minute to get past hurt. No matter if it was business or pleasure, it takes a minute for you to just feel safe and secure and comfortable again. But it's going to happen. Just balance yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with the situations. Take your time and enjoy it when you can. When you feel good, feel good. Like, get all in. And when you are when you don't feel so good, connect with that too. Connect with it. And make sure you're compassionate with others. Like, I know that things happen and we feel bad. We feel upset. We feel bothered. But try to either, you know, try to keep that energy healthy in a way, you know, like where you can express yourself. You can get out what you need to get out, but you're still mindful of other people because we go through things, but you never know what someone else is going through, too. So, you know, just show compassion for yourself and others. And if you just need to be alone to, to, to do that, then be alone. It's okay. Take time for yourself. Give yourself some mental health time, some emotional health time. Heal thyself to thy own self be true. It feels like it's some energies fighting over your attention. Some energies are fighting over your attention. Attention. This could be like internal, like thoughts, like you, you're 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 having like this mental conflict within yourself where you're trying to keep your thoughts positive, but things keep happening or whatnot. But it also could be external, where people are actually fighting over you or fighting about you and I get a sense that some of this you don't even know about you don't even know that people are fighting over you I got two messages I got a message that there's this couple that's fighting about you and you have no clue because you're to yourself but there's an energy within the couple that digs you a little more than they should. And the other energy is like, who the fuck is that bitch? <laughs> and it's like, you know, you're you're the center of your you know that message, your foot, your 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 name enters rooms that your foot has never set, set foot in, stepped foot in that also goes for things like that like people actually fight over you over someone's affections towards you and you don't have you don't have a clue like you to yourself you probably don't even know these people but someone watches you or someone is enamored by you and they got caught by their significant other so that scenario came up but i'm also hearing something about like a business deal someone some companies or some some people within a company is fighting over you or fighting over access to your energy 
I'm hearing um, fighting, like someone. Okay, so in a message that I'm getting, there's, there's this company. There's people within this company who are in charge of how much finances go out to what. And then there's a person who is just in charge of getting people on board. But they have to get permission of what to pay these people. It's like those two energies are fighting because I get a sense that the person who does the hiring, um, they want to offer more because they see the value. But the money person is like, no, this is what we're offering. This is what we usually offer. But I, I feel like they haven't seen, I don't know. I'm, I don't want to get too deep in it because that feels like it's a surprise in there for someone. So I'm going to leave that alone. But there's an offer coming. There, there's there's an offer. It's like someone's worried about, like, they keep checking something. Like, when is it coming? I know something's coming for me. I know someone's going to offer me something, but it's not coming. And they can just keep checking, keep checking, checking, checking. So on the one hand, you have someone who needs to check. And on the other hand, you have someone who needs to stop checking. If you haven't been checking, that has helped whatever it is coming to fruition faster. It's like you, you manifest it and then you leave it alone and let let it come into you. But on the other hand, you have this energy that, yes, you've done the work, but you just keep looking, looking, looking. You won't let it just, like if you keep watching the wa water boil, it's gonna take forever for it to boil. So you just gotta go do something else and come back at a later time. It just feels like, stop watching. <laughs> You, you have to just believe that it's coming for you. You feel it, and that's what's making you watch, but you just have to believe that it's coming. You don't have to watch for it. So, do I, is that it? I feel like that's it. We're gonna get some love messages and then we're gonna wrap it up. I thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for just coming with me along this journey. It's been so, ooh. Oh, that zone was perfect timing. That zone. Come on, camera. I don't know what you're doing, but I like it. What you been doing lately, camera? Earning your keep round here. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so we got, we're getting some messages on love. Okay. Those of you waiting for love, keep like I'm getting the, I'm I'm saying that again, like. I just see someone constantly either checking the oven or checking the mailbox. I just see somebody like checking, checking, checking. Like stop checking. You don't have to keep checking for love. You don't have to keep checking for finances. You don't have to keep checking for support. You just have to just keep doing you. Keep being you, keep shining. And it's gonna come. Ooh, out here, it's, oh. it's gonna come. It's gonna come, like I'm, it's gonna come quickly. You just got to let go of that urge to just keep checking on shit. Just trust it. Trust that you've done all that you need to do. If you if you know that you've done all you need to do, then just trust. But if you feel like there's still some things that you need to do, then do those things. Work on those things instead of, I don't know, just you're putting more anxiety on yourself than you need to. Just trust. So that message, if we if we think of this message as pertaining to love, because it was just coming out, it was just coming out randomly. I'm getting an, an image of someone like on social media, like the DMs or the um, those dating apps or something like that. You keep checking, or you keep um, somebody keeps like changing their profile around and all of that. Like just. Just chill, just chill, just chill. <laughs> There's someone in your energy you need to let go of. Let them go. Let them go. And if you've been letting them go, if you've been working on that, stick with it because they're gonna come back. This is your warning that your person that you're letting go of that is no longer your person. Let me rephrase that. That this person that you're letting go of is 
gonna come back. They're going to resurface, but it's still a no. <laughs> it's still a no. You have something better coming in for you. And the more that you keep letting this past person back in, the slower this better is going to take to come in for you. So you have to think, do I want this past person? Do I want to just keep letting this past person in? Even though I know it don't work. And slowing down my good love? Or do I just want to just cut this person off, let them know I mean business and I'm done and it's all wit and move forward and move on to bigger and better. So you have to make that decision. And that depends on you. If you tired, if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, move on, move forward. But you know, if you still got a little more fighting you for it, by all means, do what you do. If you like it, we love it. But it's just all up to you. I'm gonna get an affirmation. I feel like you need an affirmation. Yeah, affirmation. Then I'm gonna send you off with love and light. <laughs> You got this. Just trust in your journey. Put yourself first. Show a little healthy selfishness. Hydrate yourself. Connect with your emotions. Have faith. Have trust. And be grateful. Always be grateful. Always find that silver lining in everything. I just saw a message today that said the grass is greener on the other side. It really is. I accurately receive, translate, and properly deliver unconditional love messages with love and conviction. No is a complete sentence. I am a light worker. I am infinite. The infinity symbol may be significant. That feels like a message for somebody. The infinity symbol. I'm seeing that infinity symbol with the heart. It's like a heart with the infinity symbol. I don't know if you can catch it from what I'm drawing, but I don't know. Let me see. I got some paper right here again. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm not going to show you how to do it, but that one was still good. We got the heart. Or something like that. I don't know. I'm seeing something like that. But it's more like a ribbon. It's like the heart is at the top. And it's like... I don't know. It's something. That's a little closer. But it ain't, it ain't right. <laughs> But that's what I'm seeing for the infinity symbol. And sometimes some of them have some of it has that within it. I don't know. You can you can you can figure it out. And then we have unconditional love surrounds me. So I saw 333 on the clock. 56, the number 11 may be significant. Yeah, those are the messages for you. I send you all so much love and light and so much encouragement that just keep going. You are almost there. You are there. Most of you are there. You are walking in it. You just have to adapt and adjust to it. Okay? So don't forget to check that description box. Like, share, subscribe. And I send you so much love and light. Namaste. Thank you.